वर्णिवे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज ने जय ऑल माइटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड और बिलवड घनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कटुअ लिब्रेशन पूज्य पात गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डेविटीज जय स्वामी नारायण सदगुरु श्री स्कूडानंद स्वामी डिस्क्राइब्स इंसिडेंट एंड द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ सच अ ड्यूटी ऑफ भगवान स्वामीनारायण हु हैज अक्वायर वेरी हाई पोजिशन बाय द कंपनी ऑफ संतो एज वेल एज बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ महाराज हिमसेल्फ एज सदगुरु ने स्कूडानंद स्वामी ही वॉज वेरी great sant of bhagwan swami ran still he had a desire to describe the glory of santo glory of devotees as well as even female devotees and even a child devotees and that's why he had read down many many incident happen in the life of some devotees of bhagwan swami naran and today In 149 chapter of Bhakta Chintamani Sadguru Ni Skuran and Swami, as we described before, many other incident happened to some female devotees in our Vadodara. In the same way, today Ni Skuran and Swami also describe us some other incident happened in the same city of Vadodara. There was another female devotee whose name was Lakshmi Bai. she had too much affection for bhagwan swami narayan and that's why as she had too much affection for maharaj so he all the day without failure she try to remember and memorize bhagwan swami narayan's divine form and for that she used to do memorize one after one charitra of maharaj this method of remembering maharaj she learned from santo's katha whenever santo went there in the vadodara at that and santo gopalanand swami and skudanand swami and many other santo they described the muktanand swami many other santo they described the glory and greatness of maharaj as well as they described the divine episodes happen in the life of maharaj and that's why by listening such discourses from santo lakshmi bai realized that there is no any eternal and permanent happiness besides maharaj form and that's why she every day try to remember and memorize bhagwan's divine incident and his divine form by her habit finally she got a divine darshan of maharaj now after that even her love for maharaj increased day by day and finally she had naturally she had increased and and developed natural dislike for all other obstacle uh, all other things or other persons for everybody and with any other obst- uh, object and for all now what had happened after that as she had no any attraction or attachment with any worldly things or person now finally maharaj himself become very pleased upon her and finally maharaj bound by her devotion and then after maharaj even did what lakshmi bai desire if lakshmi bai desire to have darshan of maharaj then maharaj manifest before lakshmi bai if lakshmi bai desired some kind of prasadi from maharaj then maharaj immediately gave her 
some the prasadi whatever say like in this way as lakshmi bai she had increased her love and affection and devotion for maharaj maharaj also gradually bound by her uh, bound by her devotion and maharaj himself all times fulfill her all wishes and uh, in this way many times as lakshmi bai desire for a uh, different different prasadi maharaj all maharaj every day gave her a uh, divine and different different prasadi sometimes maharaj himself gave her all the thoughts sometimes maharaj gave her mukwas meaning mouth fresheners and even more than that sometimes when lakshmi bai desire for a uh, divine and prasadi clothes of maharaj then maharaj gave her prasadi clothes and even clothes for lakshmi bai also now all these things all these divine things they remain as it was when lakshmi bai came from the samadhi as she said for meditation on bhagwan swami narayan at that time there was nothing surround lakshmi bai and when she came back from samadhi all these things appear there and while all the other devotees and her family members they saw all these divine things then they ask her how is this possible how such kind of divine things appear here in our home then lakshmi bai describes that this is a divine thing given me by bhagwan swami narayan and because of my devotion towards him he all times fulfill all of my desires all of my wishes and that's why he divinely gave me all these things and when i go to samadhi and when i came back from samadhi there at at the time all these things appear here realizing in this way the glory of bhagwan swami and all the other witness or meaning all the other relatives and the family member and some devotees also they all realize more and more glory of bhagwan swami narayan in this way by realizing such kind of incident some become uh, those who are not devotee of bhagwan swami narayan they become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and those who are already devotee of bhagwan swami narayan they even cultivate more and more faith in bhagwan swami narayan's faith of bhagwan swami narayan's divine words and his all of actions and his commands then after nisguran and swami described another incident there was another devotee of bhagwan swami narayan in the same city of vadodara there that devotee has a very little girl uh, his daughter and her name was mathura bai mathura bai was no more than 5 years old but because of bhagwan swami narayan's divine grace she acquired a divine status of samadhi and because of samadhi she every day got a divine darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in his divine abhar aksar dham not for uh, not for one day or two days not for a week but this become a uh, every day schedule every day in the morning mathura bai sat for puja and for puja she perform mansi puja and in at the time she directly reach at aksar dham where maharaj and all the other countless millions of muktas reside permanently there she got darshan of maharaj as well as all of those muktas and after many times after some times she came back from samadhi
as this five years old girl can attain this highest level of samadhi which was very very which is very very difficult to attain even by the some great rishis and that's why this incident become a talk of the town all of the places of the of the city of vadodara all the people talk about this five years old girl how is this possible in this yuga of kadi some those who have no any kind of faith in bhagwan swami narayan's greatness those who have no belief in bhagwan they deny that this cannot be true and some of them even went there at the home of mathura bai and they themselves check they themselves observed this incident and after that they believe that bhagwan swami narayan is the supreme lord but some those who have realized this glory of bhagwan swami narayan and uh, his devotees such a, a very little devotee like mathura bai then some intellectual person they went to the king and they requested king and they inform them inform him that we have a uh, some magical incident happen in our state so you have to be aware of this and in this way they inform about this incident to the king the king was also very intellectual person and that's why he sent her a team of some intellectual person to check whether it is true or false those intellectual person persons they went to mathura bai's home and there they just observe they just examining what will be happen but after some times mathura bai sat for meditation on bhagwan swami narayan's divine form and within a few minutes she went into samadhi and after that when she came back from samadhi she described towards all those peoples all those statements about the divinity she experienced in divine aksardham how the divine aksardham is where maharaj was sitting in middle of the dham and surrounding him all four directions the countless millions of muktos they have also the similar form like that of maharaj and there is only divine divinity divinity and divinity nothing else there in this way mathura bai explain all these divine things all this divine uh description of maharaj aksardham then all those the persons who were sent by the king they all surprised after having seen this incident and they go back to the king and there they explain to the king that this is a very uh, true we have uh, we our own self realize that this is a true incident there is no anything false in it and there is no fraud nothing but this is the greatness of bhagwan swami narayan otherwise there is no any other duty of any other god or any other religion they have such kind of greatness or such kind of realization and instead in this bhagwan swami narayan sampraday they have such a great duty in only uh, in a very little age of 5 years and that's why bhagwan swami narayan is the head of all of the gods and demigods and all the lords in this way by giving divine darshan and giving the experience of his divine aksardham to mathura bai maharaj himself glorify his own form as well as his greatness and 
the divinity we can realize in our satsang after this incident the another incident also happened in the uh, happened to the same mathura bai as gradually she brought up in the town in the city of vadodara many years after this incident one another devotee but that was not a uh, bhagwan swaminarayan's devotee her name was not written in this incident but that female devotee she also desired to acquire eternal happiness and also desired to have a darshan of bhagwan and that's why she worship uh, she she was worshiping and praying towards lord sri krishna and for acquiring uh, eternal happiness as well as realize the divine darshan of bhagwan as she listen from kathas and read from the scriptures much need for god realization of bona fide guru and that's why she came in a contact of one guru but that guru was not true sant and he was only uh, there's only a fraud he was not a proper sant nothing else he had no kind of niyams and no in uh, no dharma gnyan bhakti and vairagya in him and that's why he only just become a uh, become a renunciant and just pass his time and just decide fully worshiping bhagwan now as this female devotee came in contact of that uh, guru and in this way she passed for god realization 20 years of his uh, of her lives what happened after that even after 20 years she had passed with this false guru and as she didn't have any kind of divine experience in her heart that's why one day as she also listen about mathura bai's samadhi and as that's mathura bai described divinity what she had experience in samadhi in this way as she knew about mathura bai then she directly reached at mathura bai's home she explained her problem that uh, i am waiting for mara uh, i am waiting for bhagwan's darshan for uh, since uh, for last 20 years and for that i have made one guru but and uh, but finally i realized that not a true guru uh, that was a fraud and in this way my mission to realize god my mission to realize bhagwan's darshan that not fulfilled so now please give me some help and mathura bai said oh, it's okay i can solve your problem that's not the big thing for me uh, but for that you should come tomorrow morning the next morning that female devotee of lord sri krishna she went to mathura bai's home in the morning at the time in the morning after having shower and everything mathura bai sat for puja daily puja and in the at the puja she as our ritual she sat for uh, meditation for mansi puja and at the time before starting mansi puja mathura bai explained everything about bhagwan swami narayan his system our satsangs uh, rules and regulations and after that she also taught her about the system and method of mansi puja and meditation on bhagwan swami narayan finally that uh, duty of lord sri krishna she also learned the method of mansi puja and meditation uh from mathura bai and as mathura bai explain her to set for the meditation on bhagwan swami narayan and she also set meaning both mathura bai as well as the duty of lord sri krishna both set for meditation on bhagwan swami narayan then after because of mathura bai's request because of mathura bai's prayer to bhagwan swami narayan bhagwan swami narayan 
place that another uh, female devotee only because of Mathura Bai and finally that uh, other female devotee who worship Lord Sri Krishna she got a divine darshan of Lord Sri Krishna in in his divine abode Golok and there she also find many many other female devotees of Lord Sri Krishna after coming back from the Samadhi after coming back from the meditation that female duty of Lord Sri Krishna, she realized that Bhagavan Swami Narayan is the only God on this earth. Why? Because I am worshipping Lord Sri Krishna for last 20 years. Still, even though my worship, my method of worship, even though my devotion for Lord Sri Krishna is true and pure, still, He never gave me darshan. And instead, only uh, only exp uh, as I, I was explained this method of worshipping Bhagavan Swami and by his devotee, his female devotee Mathura Bhai and because of her as I worship Bhagavan Swami Narayan only this first time and because of his divine mercy I can have a darshan of Lord Sri Krishna so only Bhagavan Swami Narayan is the supreme God in this way, realizing Bhagavan Swami Narayan as a Supreme God, she also become a devotee of Bhagavan Swami Narayan and finally she also enjoy the Divine Darshan of Bhagavan Swami Narayan. Uh, uh, not daily but sometimes whenever she had too much affection for Bhagavan Swami Narayan and after many years she also increase her devotion for Maharaj and finally she also acquired the same position like that of Mathurai Bhai and she also daily can go into Samadhi for having Darshan of Maharaj in his Divine, uh, divine Abhar Aksardham. In this way describing all this incident of the city of Vadodara Niskudan and Swami concluded this in, uh, this 149 chapter uh, by giving us some grace, giving us some blessings that uh, for that Nishkudan Swami write down in the last stanza Je Je Samare Che Sahajanan Je Je Samare Che Sahajananda Te To Pame Che Akhanda Ananda Meaning one who remember Bhagwan Swami Narayan he definitely will attain divine peace and divinity in his life. He definitely will attain divine darshan of Bhagwan in his heart. That is the main thing. After returning all of this incident and glory of glory and greatness of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. In this way, Nishkulana Swami ends this one foot in chapter here and in one fifty chapter Niskuna and Swami describe many other such kind of incident which was happened to many other devotees in our satsang. By saying this, Jai Swami Narayan. Sri Ganshyam Maharajani Jai Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadevishwaram Bhakti Dhar Matmajam Vasudham Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swamina Rayanam Nilakandham Bhaje Sri Ganshyam Maharajanije